fucking never in my life. Holy shit. Beginning of February and she's melting like a bastard. Global warming is real. Can you guys do me a favor and start them diesels and let them run? We got some ice to melt. Holy fuck, this is sickening. I keep plugging up my sump pump in here. Water wants to run in. I gotta build this up with some gravel, I guess. But uh, we're getting her. She was quite high this morning. I'll tell you what, old son. Get in there. Oh yeah, she was right to the tits, right level with that. So there's probably, I don't know, a couple inches. Fucking hands are frozen. It's not even that it's cold out. It's, uh, my, uh, this water is very cold. So I dug a hole. Oh, yeah, nice calf you got there. Stuck this out the back. Let's see what kind of a disaster we got out here. Shouldn't be too bad. It should run away. Not water. Oh, yeah, look at the trench we're cutting. That's what I like. This is just me from the fucking shovel. Move that out of the road. That's good. It's going down this way and then going that way. So that's kind of good. What are you doing in here? I had her in the barn last night. And now you're back. Right, Sparky? Let's go let some other cows out. Are you coming? Come on, dingo. Dingo balls. Got to get some tin on this building. Not this year, but that's like a, a summertime job. Come on. Get out of the way. Okay, now watch out because I gotta let these cows out. Oh, yeah, you're hungry. We thought maybe these cows were gonna calve last night, but she's a fucking disaster in this joint. All right. All right, you guys can come out. And then uh, I'll re-bed in here. There you go. Come on. There, one. Go eat number eight. You gotta go way down. Yeah, have a shit right there. That's perfect. That's what I like to see. Okay, now I gotta bring this guy over. Oh, here. Ouch. Make a point of that. And we'll let you out. Look at these sliding gates. Oh, fucking right on. Why are you back in here, you dickwad? There. Okay, go ahead, mama. Go ahead, round the gate. Fuck, you might even cab today, but fuck it, you can cab outside. They seem to not want to cab in here, so... Come on! Get the frick out of here. Go to your bales. You have a couple of loose twats. There. Eat my hay that I got saved up in here. Dirty old buggers. There we go. Hi, Jim. How are you now? There, go to the fucking gate over there. Alrighty. Let's go back and play in the water. So, they go out there and eat, and then when they're going to calve, so far so good. We've been lucky. They've been coming back into this corral here, this middle corral we call it. Or... Not the middle crawl, the east crawl, I guess. The middle crawl is right over here. But uh, anyway, they eat over there in the shoot pen, then they come here to calve. That's what they've been doing lately. So, all right, let's go pump some water. There, oh, little guy had a leg back. Come see your mama. Right. We got him yanked out anyhow with our fancy Lakeland head shoot here. Look at that. Fuck, did that ever work good? Lifesaver. Yeah. All right. You can open it up. 
drag him in there. Give him the mama. Scooch right around. At least it's warm out. There we go, mama. Okay. Dump him out. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right. I'll just stay here. And then we'll... Uh, Yeah, she'll go forward. Should go. Cause she's gotta push it. Oh yeah. There. That'll be all right. Just leave the head gate like that. There. Well, that was fun. Great. What was it? The Monday afternoon, evening. Look how all this opens up, you guys. This is fucking sweet, this thing. Crisis averted, though. This time. There. Mint. Oh, what a night. Had to use the old Lakeland maternity pen twice. The size of that calf. Never seen nothing like it. Full grown. Holy fuck. It's crazy. Had his feet crossed and uh, wasn't enough room for his head to kind of squish down between his feet. So, anyway, had to uh, help old mama out there. The old maternity pen works mint. That's what I like about it. So, I got her in the head gate, left it wide like that, and then you can turn this in on her neck. You see how that, see how that gets smaller like that? And then they can't come out, so. Anyway, yeah, it worked freaking awesome, so. We had four today. No, it's not quite midnight yet, so. We helped that one and we helped that one. That one had a foot back, and uh, these two had theirs on their own, so mint anyway leave the heat on here for a little while and uh maybe have a nap and come back and check on them later well now what are you up to well yeah hair lips i just figured i'd uh make a creep panel princess auto had these lead lights on sale fucking mint it's gonna work just dandy Got all them. Got some new brushes. Some more grinder blades. <coughs> but uh, as you can see, the old trailer's coming in king. I didn't video any of that because, uh, well, I got a plan. Sometimes my plans don't work out. Most of the times they don't. You don't need to worry about welding over top of used oil pails. They don't catch on fire, I just found out. So, anyway. We're gonna go get this installed into the barn. So basically there's only three, but, or four I guess. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so, we're gonna take this, and we're gonna pick her up with the skid steer. I had it running outside already. Actually I had it inside, but I went and got a chunk of tubing with the old girl. And, Made a trip to Fuchs Farm Supply today. Nice. Down in the Vibank. Bank. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna go in between uh, a gate and a panel in the barn, so the the calves can fit into the old barn when the weather's shitty, and the cows can't. So that's why I only made it this tall. Hopefully my little calves don't get too much taller before uh, they go to grass, but I don't think they will. Unless we get into some charless. But we'll see. <laughs> right there, a scamper. What'd you say? Fuck, you need a bath. the 
old fine grind without a fine grinder. Hey, I gotta cut this net off this dirty bugger. And uh yeah, that's here. It's a lot better when you got a sharp knife. I have to break my tip off again, I think. Oh, oh yeah. She's working good. She's working good. Mother trucker. This stuff is nice and green. I can't believe it. How green it is. Zoom me out a little bit. Do you actually see what I'm doing here? Went through some footage right the other day. <laughs> I was like, holy fuck, I just it's just a bunch of talking. You guys can't even see what's going on. That's fine. That's how you guys like to watch the YouTube videos. It's like watching a guy play a game. Fuck, is that dumb. Look at me, I'm playing Nintendo Mario Brothers. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to work like a dandy. Try not to get any net in the feed if a guy can. She was shooting rooster tails. Silence for days. Oh, that smells good, that stuff. Nice. There's fucking shit everywhere. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, white. Needs a bath. Pretty much takes a guy two hours when she's minus 30 to get her going. But, what she's running, oh, look the fuck out. That's what I like about this area. That's what I like about this old girl. You can run her from the outside. Kind of like the, I think the 1070s like that too. Fingers keep getting stuck in the net. I wonder if the fish don't like it in the sea. Oh! Fuck! Come on, you bum dark motherfucker. Gotta go this way, maybe. Oh, why? You know, it was looking all good from the start. Get those legs out of the way. Go up the back. That's why I don't video this a whole lot. Because <clears throat> it really is a pain in my ass. Not gonna lie. Okay, now <clears throat> fucking hanging on my lips. So that's yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't fall for you guys. Literally. Oh yeah, she's froze right there. That's what's going on. Come on, Dady. Tabernacle race. I can get this off. Then we'll be going. Come on, you fucker. Spill has even stood up on end. Great cheer. There we go. Fuck it, good enough. Get out of here. Look at that. She just looks real brown, but wait till we get her in there. That should be nice and pink. I mean green. Green, I mean. <laughs> Alright. Take this over to my pile. Got uh Fucking wire shorted out last night or two nights ago. Cut the power to them two uh, water bowls where the bowls are, so I gotta fuck with that later. There's a, uh, I'll show you on the can arms. There's an extra plug in underneath. Look at her steaming. Fuck, I like that. 
there's a uh, plug in underneath the water bowl and uh, you can use that for a heat gun so I'm gonna have to do those feet grain first so that these fuckers leave me alone while I uh, work on the water bowl so I'll get this feet ground up you've seen this shit before everybody's different way of doing stuff so anyway this is ours a nice little wagon would be nice to uh fucking mix this all up and then you can feed it in the bunks like this too but whatever it's gonna work okay bring you back later i'm gonna spread this on top of this hot steamy pile of shit <coughs> yuck here we go all right there boys turn up the heat in here a little bit fucking mess needs a fucking d8 or something but uh anyway i got an alternator from town yesterday and lo and beer hold it does not have a internal regulator so when you're working with these ac delcos here's a little tit for tat for you hair lips if the wire if this is just a two wire uh alternator so that's actually your regulator if the wires come out the top or the side or whatever way you have this placed it's an internal regulator if they come out the back it's an external regulator you need to add a regulator onto that so i'll take you guys outside for a minute and of course today's saturday now so i can't take that fucker back and and uh get a different uh alt alternator so i think what i'm gonna do is Take the old one apart and see maybe the, it's kind of windy out here, where the uh, brushes meet the deal. Maybe it's just dirty because it was really full of dust there yesterday. Uh, before I put that other one on here, I blew it all out, but like I said, who knows what the hell's in there, so. She ain't charging anyway. So, let's see here, old girl. You see? You see, boys? There's no regulator. That's what it looks like. They come out the back. Just like that. So I wondered why. I put it on our group chat. I said, why the fuck is this alt and alternator just giving her? Like, it's giving her all the way. Like, 16-something volts when she's revved up. Or amps or whatever. No, it's volts, I guess. And uh, good old DD Speed Shop and his uh, expertise on the old Google, he said, well, fuck, man, I think you got a external regulated alternator on there. I said, well, what the fuck? So anyway, he sent me a picture over on the old group chats there, and I said, well, that's exactly the alternator that's on there. So anyway, I'll put that picture in here right away. And uh, you guys can see it's the exact same one. Here, so I'm going to take that one apart. And if not, I do have an old... I do have an old truck out back here. Like even this alternator on the old case. Exact same thing. That's a Dixie. But it's the same fucking thing. It's got your power to the battery. It's Sam. Sam Ting. So, I've got a, uh, where's my old truck? I get my glove on. It's a little fucking nippy out. So I got that old truck over here. With the 351 modified in her. And who really knows if it actually, if the, alt, if the alternator's actually any good on it. If you guys need a maternity pen, hit me up in the comments. Oh, I can't even get in the cab of this thing. Hit me up in the comments and I'll uh, sell it to you. There we go. It's the one out of the barn. I swapped her out. Oh, why didn't I just leave that fucking 
Oh, there's a bit of mouse shit in here. Boys, there we go. How's that work? Let's try that. Let's see if there's an alternator in here. Maybe there isn't, maybe there is. Oh, there's so much fucking snow on here. Oh, I need two hands. Change of plans. I had a had an alternator sitting on this old guy. Right here. Ha oh, oh, ha oh, oh. oh. So well uh pretty much the exact same fucking thing is what I had on there. This is a Delco Remy, but if I can get a number on here and get a new one. I don't even know if this piece of shit works, but we're gonna find out. I kinda gave up on that uh truck, I couldn't get that hood open, so but between these two, there's got to be a working alternator here somewhere. It's too bad I couldn't bench test them. But this should work, I think. We'll see. Pretty plain and simple fucking alternator. I think every, pretty near every tractor I got runs this kind. So, we will, uh, See how she goes here. But this old Shev's got one in it too, but oh well. We'll get her figured out here. Boys. Oh you fucking door. Ah. Alright, derelicts. Let's see. We can set you right. Oh where are you gonna sit here, you guys? Why is it tippy? Can you see or not? Not really. Oh, whatever. Fuck you. There. Okay. So we're gonna split this fucking piece of shit. And uh, what I've done is I'll show you in a second here. Is um, I took the grinder. Where is it now? Right here. Took the grinder. Can you see that? Meow. I marked it, so now I know which way this goes. So we should be able to split the top off fairly easy, like that. I mean, the bearing's not really good, but it's not bad. So that'll be fine. I'm gonna pull this out and see. Oh, there it is. Right here. Found my problem right away. There's the problem. Nice. That could be changed, but it looks like it's almost welded a little bit. So that's not really good. It's not really good. So these little bastards, I could probably could get this back together, but I think I might just use this one as a core. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here. I'll show you this for a second. I'll show you how you hold these in here. Just hang on. It's gonna be a little, few little minutes until we get uh, shit back in here again, but we'll get her. We will get her. So now, oh yeah, we better get a, better get a piece of wire. Where's my wire? Magnetic. Back in a minute, folks. So, sometimes you can use a nail, it just depends if you can get it in the hole. You probably can't get it in the fucking hole. So, so here's your hole. Where's the hole? Right here? Yep. Found the hole. Okay, so, I'm going to put these brushes back in. Just a little spring-loaded deal here, hopefully. Could have took this right out of here too, would have been easy, but we're not gonna. We're just gonna struggle. Let's see how she goes. Fuck. Put that my lips. Good enough spring.
I bought that 622 car MA. Just mint those guys. No, oh, it's trying to shovel wire in there. There we go. Okay, so what I've done is I pushed the uh, uh, brush back in there. It's probably going to happen again, so you can see. There you go. So one brush is in, the other one's still out because of that spring. But there's a hole in there. You get a shovel wire in. And that's what holds it. That's it. Okay, so there you see how that's back in there. That's the only way that this dealio that does all the charging is going to go back in here properly and sit down into the bearing just like that. And this little guy goes on top. And then you just line up your cut marks. Pretty fucking simple. And there it is, just like that. So then, I'm just going to put one screw in here, I think. There, I don't know. I don't think I hit record, so that was dumb. But, see that wire coming out the back? That's what's holding my brushes in. So you got to have the brushes in there in order for, I don't know if that's a stator, what the fuck that thing is called. But it goes down and sits in the bearing that's in here. And uh, if your brushes are out, it won't fall in there so that's what i do is i leave that in there if a guy was smart i could have put the wire in there first but chances of it lining up are probably pretty slim so anyway i got this one here like i said off the other white that i bought from nictor last year and if it works to get me by i think i'll just use this one and then i'll order a new one and uh put it on there and uh we'll go from there my buddy uh, Wes at Complete Toilet Garbage said something about he likes rebuilding these alternators, but he said you can't fucking get parts for them anymore. So, <sighs> you know how that goes. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go put this guy and we'll see if it's charging. And if not, hoping I can make one out of two. I'm going to pull that part out of there. Maybe pull the guts out. But this one maybe put in there. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I went and gave her the old college try, just like a steer does, and, uh, and the battery's a little too dead, so we got to charge her up, but here's the, here's the alternator off that other white, I had to switch pulleys of course, a little bit different, uh, everything else pretty much the same, so I guess we'll leave the battery charge up a little bit, and then uh, go from there. Oil's good. We'll go from there, I guess. Son of a bitch. Anyways. Leave her charge. In the old bale house here. Works good to sing out of the wind. Let's get my other tractor here and I can fucking start using it a little bit. Nice. Well, what do you know? That's better. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Nice. Okay, so that one there is the, uh, fuck, she's an ether starting old piece of shit in this fucker. Starts good in the summer, but not in the winter. Definitely not in the winter. So that's what the alternator off that other white. with it because uh, it's running now so we will uh, have to get a new one get a new alternator I'll probably exchange that one that I had once uh, old Trav gets me a new one there at ignition in town and, uh, and then I got a spare or not a spare but I'll put this one back on that non running 2-105 and our plan was to maybe get that old girl running this winter yet, but this is taking up my space, son of a bitch. So I got, I got the, uh, the 
side primed up here a little bit. It kind of looks like shit, but it's primed up anyway. I got to cut these yet. <coughs> I'm going to make these into a V once I get my wire and my air lines in the tubing all the way down. And then I'm going to uh, fold that over and she should be good to go. So nice. Coming along, old rust bucket. She's got all new frame in her now. At least one side. I got some new lights there from the Princess's Auto. Fucking king. Coming along, coming along. It's right here, yellow light. Oh yeah, that's where you need to put it, Ryan. Good job. Okay, so then I bought a bought one of them little reamer things from uh, Princess Auto. Where the fuck are they now? It's in this box here someplace. I know I bought them. Right here. So these will go into my die grinder and I'll be able to uh, ream the hole out a little bit. You can see there's a burr from my hole saw. So I'll be able to take that out. If I need to make it a scotch bigger or whatever, whatever works. Uh, this thing definitely cuts like a bastard. Holy son of a gun. She grabs that drill and hang the fuck on because you're going for a ride if she, uh, if she grabs. So, But yeah, she's good to go. Just gotta do my wiring. I think I'm gonna do is end up, uh, oh, where is it now? Oh, anyways, I bought some winch cable and I'm gonna shove it in from one end all the way up to the front, tie my wires on and pull them all the way to the back. And then I was gonna do that first, but I think I'm gonna wait until I get new airline. This airline's not that, it's not too terrible, but it's uh, fucked here now apparently and there's a connector right there so there really is no point in putting that same junk back in there i'm just gonna i think i'll just get some new stuff new stuff new connectors then i gotta redo my wiring up in there so that shouldn't be too bad i don't think i don't know what the fuck this is this is maybe the ground or what something like that oh yeah that's my power okay so this power comes off my plug-in you can't really see but uh in there comes off the plug-in goes down and i gotta chop this hole then we'll run our wires in and the hole up top and these can all be teed in here boys this wire here goes all the way up all the way up to the uh whoops all the way up to the clearance light here one there there's i think five on the back one on the top three in the middle and then another one so it's coming but takes time fucking i kind of been trying to do this in between calving and fuck you know what it's a lot bigger job than i expected i took three bucket loads of rusty fucking shitty metal out of here so anyway i guess that's it for this video so there you go boys now you know what to do with the brushes if you pull apart an alternator and you can't get it back together that's nine times out of ten what it is you gotta get that wire in there so that's high line parts my processor but yeah so this guy here it definitely was charging but 16 volts is a little bit too much and uh, now you know with uh, if the wires come out the back or if they come out the top if they come out here or they come out the back then you know it's a difference between uh, internal regulator or external so like I said these the regulator is built inside and if I could get some parts I could probably get this fucker going too and I'd have another spare one but whatever is what it is what's a couple hundred bucks again fuck what do you do when you live in Saskatchewan